Welcome to the channel and for my Filipino audience, Malagayang Pagdating. I hope I said that correctly. <laughs> it means welcome in Tagalog. Uh, today I've got this awesome piece of bamboo here. So when I was in the Philippines, I used a bamboo fishing pole for catching tilapia. So uh, I got this piece. It's really long. It's great. It's so flexible. So I'm going to rig that up and we are going to do some bamboo fishing pole fishing for tilapia today. So just over in there is the little uh, creek and it is loaded with tilapia. So we are going to uh, rig this up and we are going to get fishing for some tilapia in a very traditional way. So the bamboo fishing pole is rigged up. Now the key with these is to have the line to the same length of the pole. So the hook just hooks in the end like that. And uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do just on the other side of this grass embankment here. So right here, right now, traps are going to go in the water and catch these little juveniles. I'm going to get one of the traps into the water here. Try and grab those juvenile tilapia. Just down in here was a bright red platy. Like bright, bright red. There he is. Just under the end, there's another orange one and a bright red one. Oh, look at that. We're going to get those guys. So I'm going to put, I've put one trap just here where those tilapia were schooling. And I'm going to put one over that side for those platies and sword tails. Some, there are some big, gorgeous sword tails swimming around my trap down there, as well as some platies and tilapia. And also the token gambusia. Yep, there's a little platy. Looks like the little platy's making an entrance. Uh, we'll come back and check that one shortly. Oh, look at those sword tails and platies. They are so beautiful. All invasive, do not belong in an Australian creek, so these guys will be coming home with me. Um, if anyone is after some platies, sword tails, from here, they're TikTok famous now. Just reach out in the comments or send me a message and we can arrange delivery to you or you can come and pick it up. Look at that. Beautiful little oasis. Uh, we have had a tremendous amount of rain this summer, which is really good. But look at that juvenile tilapia, big sword tails. There is not a single native fish in this creek. So swim downstream, little ones, and get into my trap. That's what we want. Right down there, big male tilapia. Worm is on the hook, and it is going in. Fishing with bamboo in Australia, how cool is this? Let's lower that down to this little dude. Oh, you see that? Big tilapia almost got him on the hook. Let's get that back out there. Here we go, guys. Got one. Got one. Look at that. Oh, how awesome is that, guys? Look at that. Tilapia on a bamboo fishing pole in Australia. That is awesome. Great. What a cool catch. Man, this is a great little rod. It costs basically $2 to make. I just used a little carp rig and a worm, a little bit of fishing line and a $1 piece of bamboo. 
Honestly, guys, um, you don't need anything better than that. And there you go. How good is that? Okay, um, I have to dispatch this dude because he's invasive. You know the drill. So just before we uh, dispatch of this little fella, let me just give you a nice up close look. So yeah, this is a tilapia. Beautiful, gorgeous fish. These guys uh, started out in the aquarium trade many years ago in Queensland, believe it or not, my home state. And they now rule these waterways. It's a complete infestation. These guys breed like rabbits. And uh, there's pretty much uh, no stopping these. It's uh, they're everywhere. This creek is honestly there's thousands here. I mean, over there I seen maybe I don't know. It was dozens of juvenile tilapia. There must be thousands of juvenile tilapia throughout this water system. Anyway, one less, and also hopefully we got the uh, juveniles in the traps. So that would be good. So yeah, gorgeous little tilapia here. Unfortunately for him, it's not going to end well, but it's for the betterment of the environment. Okay, so we are baited up again. And there we go, let's just untangle that. There we go. Let's get it into the water. See if we can have luck on the second one. So that was cool. That was cool. One big tilapia out of this water system. Let's go for a second. When I was in the Philippines, I learnt to use these bamboo fishing poles and it was really good. It felt so authentic when I was fishing on the lake over there. It was fantastic. I loved every minute of my trip to the Philippines. And uh, yeah, I am, I am coming back in 2024. So if any more content creators want to meet up or if anyone wants to meet up with me, just hit me up and I will, uh, we can organize it probably be around October before I get back. Nothing in that little spot. Let's uh, go over there a bit more. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Fish number two. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's a bigger one. Here we go. Get this guy up. <laughs> awesome. Caught on bamboo. He's even bigger. That's amazing. What a great day. I'm loving this rig. It is fantastic. Little bugger tried to get away from me, but uh, yeah. So clean him up a little bit. Male, male tilapia, this one. Uh, yeah, so unfortunately I don't have all day. I've only got a couple of hours. I've got to get to a business lunch shortly. Uh, but yeah, the bamboo fishing pole is a raging success and I implore everyone to get out. It's two bucks. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, dispatch of this dude and uh, yeah, we'll go check our traps. Yes, yeah, so far, two big tilapia. The bamboo fishing pole is a huge success. I would just like to thank all my Filipino friends who taught me this method. Um, it is going to come in handy here big time. This summer, I'm going to remove thousands of these guys. So yes, thank you to everyone in the Philippines. And like I said, I will be back and I'd love to meet you all. Uh, whether it's to go fishing or go out and have dinner and drinks, whatever. Let's all uh, catch up and have a big meet and greet in Manila. One more go. This will be our third cast, hopefully our third fish. And then we'll go check our traps. And then i got to get to a business lunch. We got one. We got one. Whoa. Whoa, it's a jumper. There we go, guys. Another one. And it's a bigger one as well. Let's get him up. Where's my line? He is stuck in the grass down here. Let's 
have a look at this one. Whoa, that is, that's a doozy. He's awesome. Three big tilapia and hopefully a truckload of juveniles. Um, so yeah, bad news on the environment. Let's go check the traps. Okay, I'm gonna fill my bucket preemptively on the hope that I've got some fish. Should do, should do. And uh, yeah, we got three traps set here. How good were those tilapia that we just caught? Three nice big tilapia removed from the wild. All right, let's check. Let's leave that one a little bit longer. That was where the tilapia were schooling around. Uh, let's check this far one over here first. Here we go. First trap of the day. Coming in. Oh, it has a truckload of fish. Oh, there's some orange platties in there. Wow. Let's crack this open. Oh, straight off the bat. Oh, sword tail. Where'd I go? There he is. Come here, little platy. Look at that, orange platy. Sword tail, platies, and a juvenile tilapia. Well, another tilapia. Look at that, little juvenile tilapia. Man, this trap is absolutely loaded with sword tails. Handful of sword tails and platies. Look at that one, that's beautiful. You know what, let's just throw all of that in there. Dog food and all, we can scoop that out. That has got to be one of the biggest hauls of sword tails that I've ever got. And also, there is some bright orange platies in here. And also some gambus here. All right, trap two. Let's see what trap two has to offer. Where's the rope to that one? There it is. So we just got two juvenile tilapia in that last one. Wow, this trap is full as well. Oh my god. Holy heck, guys. Look at that. Nice orange platy straight up. Platy sword tails. I can't see any tilapia in this one. Anyway, I'm gonna break that down, get rid of all that dog food, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, third and final trap of the day. Is that one just down there? I can just, yeah. And trap number three is equally as loaded. Let's see if this one picked up any of the tilapia. So far we've got three juvenile tilapia. Some big tilapia just swimming in here as well. Oh, look at this, guys! Look at that tilapia. So, uh, epic fishing trip today. Only two hours long, and I've caught thousands of fish. I caught three big tilapia on the bamboo line. Then we set our three traps in here. We've since pulled the traps in. And I've also seen some big tilapia just swimming through here as well. So check this out. This is all invasive aquarium fish. There's some gambusia in there, some platies, sword tails, and some tilapia. And I know it's hard to scope the size of the catch just like that. So if I do this, look at that. 
all invasive aquarium fish. Look at that, beautiful orange platies. And also, we got this guy. Little juvenile tilapia. And there's uh, three more tilapia in there as well. So yeah, pretty good catch today. Uh, so now what I have to do, I've filtered out all of the dog food. Now I have to filter out the tilapia and the gambusia. And then all of the uh, platies, like this one, will be up for rehoming. Look at the beautiful colors in that. That is a gorgeous fish. So yeah, if anyone wants any aquarium fish, these guys will be ready to go in about two weeks.